Hey, welcome to module three for the Millionaire Mentor Series. And today I wanna to share with you what I learned after sharing the stage with Gary V here in London, UK. There's about 1,500 people there. My friends had helped fill that whole room up and it was an amazing experience. And you probably know who Gary V is and he's written all these best-selling books, which are absolute great. So what are the key lessons that I learned from Gary V? Uh, and I'm gonna share a few with you today. So number one is be prolific. Whatever you do, you gotta put yourself out there, whether it's videos, it's articles, it's email marketing, Marketing. Just start putting yourself out there. Why is this important? Because if you're not putting yourself out there and your neighbor is, or the business owner next door to you is, or the kid that just got access to his internet and has a mobile phone now, they're gonna be dominating. So you wanna make sure that you mark your ground and you, you can see how prolific this guy is. I mean, he's all over the place and he's shooting so much content. And here's another cool thing that I learned about being prolific when it comes to content creation. He will usually create one piece of content Content and you will dissect it and promote it 10 to 100 different ways. And I want you to start expanding your mind into thinking, how can you create a piece of content and then how can you expand it into different forms? I'll give you an example. As I'm shooting this video, my video editor knows that we are going to take this video, slice it up, post it on Instagram, slice it up, post it on LinkedIn, rip out the audio, post it on my podcast, which is uh, shakirusain.com forward slash podcast. And then we're gonna take that content, we're gonna put it on Facebook. Then we're gonna take the transcription of this video, we're gonna then post it as a blog article. See how, what I just did there? I created one piece of content and I'm getting mass leverage. And that's something I see Gary V do absolutely amazingly well. I wanna encourage you, you know, if you are someone that feels like, oh, I don't know how to create content, start going live on Facebook. Start going live on Instagram each and every single day. Then record that content and then use that content to leverage in other marketplaces, in other platforms. Because here's the crucial thing that you wanna know. In this day and age, and this is something that he's been teaching for many years, and I wanna share this because it really drove home, especially when you see him speak, is that you are the media channel. You know, before it was all about Facebook and Instagram and these individual platforms. Now you are it, okay? I don't have my mobile phone on me right now, but the mobile phone and your mobile phone right now is the new TV, you know? Uh, today I was getting a haircut and I was actually scrolling through Instagram and I was thinking to myself, wow, back in the day, you would literally sit in front of the mirror getting your hair cut like this. But now everyone's, and I looked to my right and the guy there, he's on his phone. I don't know what he was doing, but I'm sure he was watching something as well. And so in today's day and age, the phone has become the new TV and you wanna make sure that you're in at this time where you can ride this trend. Okay, the third thing that I wanna share with you is just that, riding the trends. And if you look at all most successful people, I'm not gonna say all, but most successful people, one of the biggest things that they have in, in common is that they ride trends, okay? I've been so fortunate to generate tens of millions of dollars in online marketing, in business, and guess what? It's not because I'm the smartest cookie in the, in the block, it's because I know I'm not the smartest, that's why I have to go and spend so much money learning from everyone else, it's because of this one fact of riding the trend, you know, catching a trend and then joining it, riding it as it goes up. And in today's day and age, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, all of these things are there and you wanna use it to solve people's problems. You know, when I first got started online nearly 10 years ago now, the only thing that was really available was email marketing. You'd put up a landing page, get people to give their name and email address and their phone number and back then we would call the people up and. Uh, encourage them to buy our products and services. Now we can set up all this automation where people come in, they go through our sales funnels and uh, one funnel leads to another funnel and you know, we can sell a $20,000, $50,000 program online using funnels. Back then, you'd have to meet people one-on-one. -on -one. It was just crazy. And so if you aren't taking advantage of these opportunities, you are gonna get left behind, okay? Another thing that I discovered about Gary V, uh, especially after, you know, learning from him in person is that he's actually a very humble guy. It's, it's kind of weird to say that because people are like, he might be, he's all over, he's in your face, right? He's in your face, everyone knows that. He, he's actually very, very humble and he's very down to earth. It was really cool because 
there's a couple of people coming on, not on stage, but they're coming on onto the mic and they were asking him questions. And just the way he was uh, responding, it was absolutely, it was kind of shocking. I was like, oh wow, I didn't expect those sort of responses from him. But I guess that's a reminder to you and I, is doesn't matter how much success you have, he has a hundred million dollar plus per year digital marketing agency. But be humble, okay, because it goes a long way. And after that event where, you know, just before him, me and my friends, we were on stage talking about mentorship and whatnot, made me really kind of like the guy. I was like, okay, you know what? It's really cool because I can see a whole different side to him. And again, I wouldn't have experienced that if he wasn't putting himself out there. So it goes back to my first thing, which is make sure you start putting yourself out there. I hope you enjoyed this uh, mentor session. I'll see you in tomorrow's one. If you want clarity and you yourself want some extra confidence and you yourself need to learn how do you create content? How do you become prolific in the marketplace? Whether you're a brand new internet marketer, online marketer, or you're someone who's a veteran and you wanna take it to the next level, Apply for a Wealth Academy coaching session today and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.